Hello, this is Martin Edmondson, the founder of Reflections and the creative director on Driver San Francisco. I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough, a special E3 build of a game here. And what we've done with Driver San Francisco is very much go back to the roots of what made the original Driver game such a unique experience. We're going to get straight into a car chase between John Tanner and Jericho, two key characters that we've brought back from earlier in Driver's history. Other things we brought back, this sort of classic back alley action, smashing through garbage and bursting back out onto the streets, all that's back. And you can see the handling here, we've really worked hard to bring this back, that classic feeling of the handling. Tanner pushing the back end of his car right out there. And for the first time in driver's history, we have well over a hundred real licensed cars. Using the in-car view here, it's one of the classic views used in uh, many of the 70s car chases like Bullet and French Connection that inspired the original driver game. Right, so that looks like the end of Tanner's chase. Now whilst Jericho gets away here, I want to show you this. This is a brand new feature for Driver San Francisco. We call it Shift. Now this is brought about by the fact that Tanner, earlier in the story, is involved in a serious incident and that puts him into a coma. And Tanner is completely unaware of the fact that he's in a coma. He thinks he got a lucky escape and ends up with this amazing new ability. And as you can see, Tanner feels like he's looking down on the world like this. He can see and identify lots of cars in the world and he can shift instantaneously into a vehicle. Anytime you change your mind, you can shift into another vehicle. And you can also have some fun with this. So if I want to change direction, for example, immediately without having to turn around, I just shift into a car coming in the opposite direction, like so. And this is something that upgrades throughout the game. So we can pull higher, reveal more of the city and still see all the cars driving around. But shift is a limited ability. It has to be charged and ultimately it upgrades to reveal the whole city in its entirety. Now as you can see this is a massive area, it's 208 miles of road and uh, that makes it one of the biggest open city driving environments in any video game and what it gives to the player is a truly diverse experience of different driving styles. Let's look at how shift can really transform the gameplay for the player. Um, we're going to shift in lower here, down the south end of the city, see what's going on here. And uh, we can find two cops here, they're both chasing after this Mustang, the Shelby Mustang. Now, to acquire a mission in Driver, you just shift straight into the vehicle, and we're now playing the part of this cop, trying to take down the getaway. Now the shift is also upgraded in uh, functionality as well. We have a new ability here, a rapid shift, so we can shift further forward, keep us in the action. cooked it there, the other guy goes past, shifts, keeps us straight back up there, right behind the Mustang again. Now when shift really becomes interesting is when the player starts to treat the vehicles in the city as tools. So we're going to use shift now to see if we can end this chase for good. Now that's what I'm after, a big heavy 18-wheeler. Well thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this very early preview of Driver San Francisco.